iron so you have your FFC cable and if you look at it the pads are lifted and I have a great solution to fix this all you need is unsticky paper this part is from the back of the stickers always save this this is very useful in these kind of situations and also you need super glue and tape and first before you doing anything try to put super glue in between of these two papers uh, leave it for a while and then remove it see if it actually removes it easily or just sticks to it if it sticks this is not good try to use a better unsticky paper firstly i'm going to align all these pads and i will put uh, tape on uh, just on the edge so i can fix it firmly so as you can see i'm using my microscope and all my pads are aligned just this one this one is not so perfect, but uh, I will try to put it better in place. Also, you need to use some paper so you can clean all your pads before actually uh, putting uh, the tape on top of it. To put the tape, you are just going to use this tape right here and you are going to put it just on these ed edges. so the beds will not move while they are being pressed with the glue on top of it so this is my setup i'm using this paper to clean it like this always go in this direction don't go like this because you might break or bend the pads and you need to start all over again or just get a new cable and you don't want that to happen then get your sticky paper make sure you are uh, using the unsticky part of it because this will stick and this will not and put it below try to center it and when you put it below then you need to use your uh, tape so you need to tape it on this edge but just a very small amount on top of these edges because you need to put glue on top of this and you need to glue to flow below of these pads so less you use here better and now as you can see i use tape on this edge right here let me push this a little bit far from it yes i just put it on the edge I just need them to the pads to need below of it so they don't move around also go with your nail and pass it across it so the the, the tape will uh, glue to it also I'm using here as well tape because I need it to not move because if I let it move they will go like this and I don't want that now you need to create a fold with tape and another unsticky paper that will go on top of this and the glue will go in between. Make sure you don't miss the part that sticks and the other that doesn't stick because if you put the wrong part it will actually stick to the cable and you don't want that to happen. Now after you having the fold, the fold will go on this and right here it doesn't matter you don't need the whole part of it and then you are going to put this the glue the super glue here is important if you put super glue because it sticks very well and you put here and then after it you need to press it down for a minute or two so i have this one as an example this is my working one and this is an example and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the super glue Make sure it's liquid super glue because if it's gel it's harder to put it below of the pads. And put it just a little bit, you don't need too much. You just need to cover them and go like this. Because if you go like this the super glue will go under the pads. That's something you want to. Don't put too much because much you put, much you need to remove later. After you have your super glue you need to be fast and put your finger on top of it and hold it there for a minute or two if you have something heavy I, I well I don't recommend you to leave something heavy because you don't have the perfect uh, push on it uh, so use your finger it's better so you don't leave any gaps or areas that your glue doesn't stick to it something that you can also use you can use a rubber and press on top of the rubber or more than one rubber make sure that you are pressing on the cable and not on the other side or next to it 
and you push it and you leave it for a minute or two so it leaves time to the, the glue to cure. To remove it, just start by the, the tape, hold it, the cable, and just remove it in this direction and then you go like this and you firmly hold it and you remove it be gentle don't do it like this this is why I, I did this one because I just have one hand I'm going to do this to this one now as you can see my pads are in place I've removed the tape from here and now I have this thin layer of super glue which I can then scratch out I have to scratch it from here to here having a microscope it's good because you can see when the glue have been removed or not don't remove it in between it's not it's not that's not a problem and also make sure these areas, these edges here, are glued as well. So you go with your sharp knife and you try to lift it. If they lift, you, you can always put a little bit of super glue and do the same process again. But just put it on here. You don't want a lot of it. And now I'm going to scratch these pads. Now as you can see, they don't move. They are fitted in place. At this time and before uh, start to scratch the glue out of it, it's time for you to replace the blade for a new one, you need a sharp one, because if you use a damaged one, you might be scratching where you don't want to, okay? This is a scratching process, as you can see, I, I'm able to understand if the glue has been removed or not, but this area here is the most important one, because here, it's where the contacts of the connector are in so make sure you clean it better on this side okay now that you have your connectors all scratched the glue scratched from it make sure you don't break anyone because if you break it you might need to solder again and you don't want, you want to avoid that now you have to clean all of them and uh, I'm using for this I'm using isopropylic alcohol but you can use any other solvent that doesn't react with the glue. You don't need to be perfect while scratching every single pin. Make sure you scratch it uh, perfectly on this edge that I've shown you before. Be you, why you don't have to clean it perfectly? Because when you are going to rub it, all the glue that are a little bit um, scratched will be removed and you don't need to worry about it again rub it in this direction don't go like this always go like this and firmly press it and firmly rub it try to not remove the pads for even better results you can use this rubber this is this has some sand and as you can see it shines it will scratch the glue again don't put too much strength on it, just go slowly and be aware that you don't want to damage this. Now as you can see all my pads are cleaned and they don't move from here. So now this is perfect to put it on my computer. Also you will have glue here on the edge, you just need to remove the cable from the base which in my case it's still uh, stick to it and then you just need to scratch this be careful and you are ready to go and now as you can see it they are all cleaned and ready to be used i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like it please leave your comment below like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day.